Well, look at the way that this turned out. I am so excited about this. It's the next day. I um, I got my great big um, splits in this without using the uh, crackle medium and just using Elmer's glue. So, um, the only thing, the only experiment I think that didn't work was um, the um, medium that we used here, the modeling paste on each side here. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and redo these corners in the modeling paste. Um, just because I think it'll look better. And then uh, one of the things I want to put on the cover, and I don't know, this was the original cover. I don't know if I'm going to use this one for the cover or um, this one for the cover. But I kind of like the way this turned out. Even though this one is larger, like I like, and I think this... Uh, teal blue is absolutely beautiful I'm not sure about this part right here though so um, what I'm gonna and this was one of the things that I'm gonna put on the cover so I don't know if I want to put that here on this part or over here and have the cover like this so in my decision making, I'm going to go ahead and um, redo the um, modeling paste right now while uh, this is dry. Then we'll let that dry and then I'll come back and we'll work more on the cover. Okay, so let's do that right now. I have happen to have some modeling paste right here and I will get my knife thought it was right here um, don't see it hold on just a second Okay, well, I don't see it at this moment, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is put this on, this with, um, maybe a bone folder. Oh, I hate that. Okay, we'll use a card, and... We'll use the, uh stencil that I used before. Okay. Okay, we're going to need to stop. Okay, I'm back. So I'm going to, um, I'm sorry if I bumped the camera, go ahead and use the stencil that I had before. I'm just going to go ahead and stencil right over this corner. And like I did before, and we'll put some modeling paste out here probably too much but we'll get it and 
down a little bit. Okay. Okay, that looks good to me. All right, we're going to pick it up. There we go. And I'm going to flip it around. And put this back here. doesn't take too too long for this to dry but we'll go ahead and let it dry and um, and I'll be back you don't want to get too much you want to get enough and if you smooth it out really nicely then you have a better chance of not having to sand the lumps out. Okay. There's that. I think that's pretty good. All right. I'm going to take this one off. There we go. Now I see a couple places here around the edges. I need to pick that off one place over here okay so what we'll do is we'll let that dry then we'll come back and we'll continue on what I want to do is maybe put some uh, bronze color over this um, this one got a little messy but uh, I think it'll work okay this one I did better. I must have moved it there. Okay, so we'll be back after it dries. Well, I think I ran out of numbers, but I wanted you to go ahead and uh, see what I've done here so far. And I'm going to go ahead and go around the edges. And, and then I'm going to dry it. And I'll come back. Okay. There we go. Hi guys. I just want to come on here and we're going to finish up this little journal that I've been uh, working on. Um, I love how the crackle turned out and um, I hope you love it too. This was the um, eye makeup remember that we used on the corners and we um, put some uh, modeling paste on here and did the corners in white and I had to go back over it because our experiment with this underneath the crackle didn't work so I went back ahead and I went over it now I think I'm just gonna put you know this this pretty little ribbon um, here this is a, a satin um, piece of ribbon that's been torn and cut and I think I'm going to add this right here we can take this off here for a second I was going to put some kind of other latch on here but I think I, I like the ribbon better and and it, it does go with this this flower that I want to use so I'm going to take this very old crochet piece and we're going to put it right here on the cover. 
I also took this and I went around the edges of the book and so all the edges are covered with that. So let's go ahead and add this on here like this. We just have a few things to go over and um, I want to leave some of this loose. You know, I don't want to glue it down hard. So, so the, some of the sides are going to be softened by having it that way. And I think we'll just put it here, kind of make it more round. There. Hold it down for a second. This was Fabri-Tac that I used. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this, um, this is one of those um, roses that were handmade and um, it's been burned on the edges. You know, I'm sure you've seen that uh, done on YouTube. There's, there's a lot of videos for that. But I'm just going to go ahead. Um, I thought it was so uh, delicate and sweet. We're going to go ahead and put some glue here in the center and the outside I'm not going to uh, glue down. Okay. See, I think I like it this way. It's got some beautiful beads here in the center. I did not make this. This came from uh, Rusted Angel Supply. Rusted Angel Supply, I think it's called, on um, Etsy. She has some very beautiful things in her shop. And she does all this beading by hand. So it's it's uh, extra specially beautiful. Okay, so I'll just kind of run through this uh, because um, we want to see the finished product. Now, here's the end papers that I told you about. And I also made a little pocket here in the front. And I'll just go through this real quick because we have seen it pretty much before. And um, then we'll go on. And I'll be done with this video and I can get it up on um, YouTube. So there's that. There's the envelope we made. Belly band. Lots of writing space and lots of fun little tucks and corners and places and, and tuck here and tuck there. And, you know, uh, that's the way I like to make my books. This is a double page here with a great big uh, journaling card there. A little thing to pull it out. You know, and the, the, um, this is the um, file folders. I sure hope I'm in, in uh, view here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> And um, we'll go on here, just hurry it up, more pockets, pages, beautiful papers. Um, here's a little envelope here at the bottom. You know, all these things that I put in here, they can all be rearranged and moved around and, and uh, written on. And this is that uh, antique lace, and there's another big journaling card there and this can be written on it's so fun to write on these pretty papers it really is another envelope here journaling card little lace little definition of garden some more um, cards definitions a big journaling card here little bow and lace so that's pretty much the book. And then this is the flip out uh, one with the um, little envelope in here that's made out of glassine. Some lace here. And uh, you can tuck something in here. I get my whole hand in there. So, um, and then a little piece of um, music and a tuck there. And that's the end of that. I did go ahead. It's a little bit stiff, but over uh, using it in time, you know, back and forth, it'll loosen up. And then I did put this belong. This book belongs to, and you can write your name in there. But I um, love the end papers. I love the way the crackle turned out. 
really happy with that. I've sealed it all in. Like I said, I've done the edges. And, um, whoops, we need to go ahead and put some more glue on this. I may need to put some E6000 on this because um, this is so porous that... Uh, That doily, that doily is, um, it's an antique doily, very old, and it's thick. And, it, you know, it was crocheted here in the middle to pop up. So I'm hoping, you know, that uh, I get this in the position I had it, and it will stick. It should. I'll just be careful. I won't be throwing the book around. <laughs> So that's pretty much it, guys, and um, I don't know what we're going to do for the next uh, video, but I'll think of something. Maybe we'll work on, I've been working on some of those um, flip page, um, what do they call those? They're, um, oh, they're, you use some um, old envelopes, and well, I'll just have to show you in the next journal. I mean, <laughs> In the next uh, video but um, I thought this was real pretty this satin material and it's shiny on one side not shiny on the other and I'm not doing a very good job here with this bow <laughs> but um, she turned out real pretty I'm happy with her she's a little bit chunky here but you know it's okay I love the way she turned out all right guys so I'll say goodbye and um, I'll edit this video and we'll get it up on uh, YouTube for you. And, um, and then I'll have this uh, in my Etsy shop if anybody's interested. And um, she's a sweet little one. And if you like purple, this is your girl. Okay, see you later. Bye-bye.